Company and welcome to another episode of the Brew Quest. Today's beer style is the English Pale Ale or ESB as the craftbeer.com uh, website calls it or like the BJCP just calls it the strong bitter and I think Beer Advocate is like extra strong bitter. So this beer style has a lot of different names and categories that it goes by but today's beer is Fuller's ESB. Fuller's is actually out of England, so this is an English ESV, uh, but as I think the BJCP points out that a lot of the styles that are in this category are not gonna, really going to taste a lot like this. ESB is actually trademarked in London and it doesn't necessarily represent the whole style. Uh, funny enough though, I think on Beer Advocate it's listed like the most rated uh, extra strong or English strong bitter. Uh, which I find uh, kind of funny if it's not indicative of the style. There's a lot of things about this beer, or at least this beer style, that I actually, after reading, it's going to be kind of interesting. One, it's not really bitter. It's a, it's really balanced between malty and bitter. Uh, I think the IBUs range from like 20 to 40, uh, and it's not that much. It's kind of like easy, easy to drink. It's not a high ABV beer. So like on this one, this is. Um, uh, 330 milliliters, 11.2 ounces, and the ABV is 5.9%. And uh, this is brewed and bottled by Fuller Smith and Turner PLC, Griffin Brewery, London, UK. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, there is a best before date, it's September 1st, 2020. This is going to be interesting. Um, this is going to be my, one of my first first English beer song. Actually, no, I take that back. I've been to London. I have drank in a pub there, but I forget what it was. I think it might have been Fuller's 1874, is that? Or 1845. Uh, I'm not too sure. I, for I forget what beer I drank. This was before I was into like craft beer at all, so I kind of don't remember. But I'm excited to drink this, so let's open this up, pour it out, and let's drink it. Be right back. So right off the bat, the color looks really nice. Kind of reminds me of an amber or even like that scotch ale I've had. I actually have two, right? Dirty Bastard and I think, is it Dirty Bastard? From Founders and that Christmas ale. So yeah, it's a nice amber color, nice mm, light brownish bubbles, uh, a lot of carbonation. I'm sorry, my glass is a little dirty. I did run it through the dishwasher, but yeah, I can see a lot of bubbles coming out of here. And it's also very clear, it's not cloudy at all. I can really see my hand and like the light source behind it. So this is a great looking beer. So uh, let's give this a smell. I'm getting a lot of like toffee notes. It doesn't really come off as like too malty, just like kind of like burnt, not burnt. Uh, like yeah like maybe like a toffee sort of malty aroma coming off of this and i don't smell anything like any hop at all i mean i think that's mainly because it's not i don't think it's overly hopped so it's like a 20 to 40 ipu beer um okay i can't actually get anything else yeah it smells really it smells kind of interesting actually um it's a lot different than what all the things i've smelled before uh so i can't wait uh, let's dig in cheers First two sips like goes over that aroma that I was smelling. Definitely get it. Tastes exactly like what I was smelling, um, except a little bit more faint. Um, a little bit of maltiness in the beginning, a little bit of bitterness, and then it finishes malty. A lot more malty than I thought it was gonna be. 
but it doesn't, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not too strong in the malt. It's not too bitter. It's really, it's really good balance. And I, and I guess I've read that before that this, um, this beer style is actually balanced. I'm not sure if this is going to make sense, but it just definitely tastes like a darker, like a darker beer. It doesn't taste like a blonde ale. It doesn't taste like a golden ale. It def definitely tastes like some, uh, like roasted malts are in this. Like, like not maybe like a brown ale, but there's a different taste. I think it's the yeast. Like, I think the yeast they use here is like a British uh, style yeast, and it's definitely great. Like, I'm, I'm I actually really like this beer. That's what it's kind of reminding me. It's kind of reminding me of like a fruit, like a dark, fleshy fruit, like maybe plums or something. Yeah, that's what it's uh, giving off. Uh, but yeah, actually, this is not bad. Like, ESPs are pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I don't know, like, where am I actually gonna put this? On this list, like I, I actually really like it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's not gonna top the top ten. Everything I like on the top ten, I definitely like more than this. It may break the top fifteen. I think it's gonna be number sixteen actually. So uh, right on number fifteen is the robust porter. So on fifteen is the robust porter, and sixteen is gonna be the uh, ESB. I'm only putting it. I would like to put it higher, but like I've said, like this beer style is actually different. Um, it might be a lot more different though, depending on where you go. Like, I'm actually interested to see if I try an ESB here from like a San Diego brewery, whether or not that's going to be more hoppy. Because I, you know, it's Amer like on the American side, it's always a lot more focused on the hops and the malt. So it'd be very interesting. I know Alesmith had an ESB the last time I went to the tap room, but this is like pre uh, COVID, so I don't know if it's still there. Uh, but yeah, number 16. ESB. Not a bad beer. I actually really like it. Uh, compared to like the last few things I've had, um, this is actually really good. So, yeah. I might actually try another thing from this brewery too. I think Fuller's. I think they make London's best is what I saw in the bottle shop. So, I gotta try it out. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. I can't believe I didn't drink this when I was in play.